so Praxis suggested that I do a video journal to process how I've been feeling. Um, it's, it's not an easy situation by any means, but I'd maybe much rather be doing something more productive. And he also suggested it would be good for keeping a record of the events because someone in 20 years might watch this. I don't know. I can't believe that someone could be so erudite about all of this and thinking that he knows everything when every other sentence he says is um or okay. Anyway, no complaining right now. Okay. Whew, okay, let's give this a try. Uh, so it's about three in the morning. I am on watch right now, um, giving him a chance to get some rest. I am really, really hungry and really tired, uh, but it's the least I can do right now. Uh, he did offer me some really delicious dried eggs earlier, which at least it was food, but he was eating a big bowl of cashews, which looked so good. Anyway, um, I really appreciate being here. It means a lot. I don't have anywhere else safe to be right now, and so it, it really does feel good to be with someone else who I can trust to some degree. And, you know, I do feel bad about putting a gun to his head. I just wanted to make sure I was safe. You know, it's crazy out there. So, anyway, I want to contribute any way that I can, and so right now, I, as I said, I am taking a really long shift for watching out for anything, really. You know, pe if people like me can come up, then, you know, someone more skilled probably could too. Um, yeah, and, you know, I just, when I was leaving home and things were getting skinny over there, I really didn't know where to go, and so, I guess I instinctually came here, and I don't know if that's the best idea. It seems like he might have had things under control by himself. But I have heard about some government camps that they've been setting up. They're supposed to have lots of food and supplies, and they're supposed to be really safe. Maybe that would have been a better choice. Oh, what is that? I, I hear something. Today's day 10 since this whole thing started, and uh, especially with that gigantic explosion yesterday, I think I really feel the need to start finding out what's going on in the areas around us here. Uh, yeah, I've been listening on the shortwave radio. I haven't heard anything on that other than that, that weird signal once. Um, so I'm going to try out the ham today, see if we can contact some people and just see what's going on around us. Uh, it, you know, for this to really work well, you know, I, I kind of have to cross my fingers and hope that people that are running repeaters, you know, have survived somewhat and they, there's some repeaters working that can really spread our signal. But, you know, it's all I got at the moment, so we're going to give it a try. Uh, Monica at the moment is, uh, she's asleep. Uh, she took a super long shift last night. I feel incredibly refreshed. Uh, and I just want to let her get some sleep to extend the same courtesy to her. She was super tired at the end of that. So I'm going to go over here and we're going to try to uh, to contact somebody. We'll see. This is an FT60 radio and we'll see what we can uh, what we can get with it. This is Praxis. Is anyone using this frequent? See? Okay, that's kind of stupid. All right, let's just go. CQ, 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 calling CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Praxis. Papa Romeo Alpha X-Ray India Sierra. This can take a while. CQ, 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 this is Praxis. Papa Romeo Alpha X-Ray India Sierra. Calling CQ, 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 and listening. Praxis, Praxis, this is Pepper Princess. Monica? Copy. Over. Monica! You somebody on the radio. Uh, what? Check it out. We copy you perfectly, Pepper Princess. Good morning. Over. Awesome. Where are you located? Over. We're calling out of New England. Where were you? I'm located in the Bay Area of San Francisco. How are you holding up? Over? We're doing all right up here. We have supplies and things. Oh, uh, we, do, uh, we, do, um, uh, 
but uh, Law and Order is kind of crazy. Uh, we, uh, you know, the people are going kind of nuts. It's a total collapse here, too. We're having contact with the aliens. Are you guys in danger, or is it just the people? We're mostly just looking out for people here. Um, the ships seem like they kind of keep to themselves. Uh, we've seen those giant ones, and then there's um, the little... Um, turd burglars. The little, yeah, turd burglars, thank you. Um, is that pretty much what you guys are seeing? Yeah, we've got the little ones firing on crowds over here, too. Over? Oh, that sucks. Is your, is your power out also? Uh, did you guys get hit with the EMP? Well, I don't know if it's an EMP or not, but the power is definitely out. Have you heard any news at all? Over? No, we, we haven't heard anything at all. Nothing. Over. Nothing here either. Over. Well, I'll be on this band a lot, so if I hear anything, I'll be sharing it with you guys. Uh, so, good luck. Sounds good, Praxis. I'm going to head out and get some food. Over. Hey folks, Prepper Princess. So since this whole EMP thing happened, it's been a little while and we've been seeing the ships here and there. Um, but there is one really big ship, but um, we have to look out for the little ones. And one of the really weird things about living in California is I feel completely strange being armed at all times, inside and outside, just in case. But we've been going through our stockpile, making sure that we've got everything rationed out correctly. We are still getting some eggs from the chickens, and I'm going to go ahead and take you guys out to them. But before I do, one of the great things that I had done prior to all of this happening was taking precautions. Now, I never did have the money, not that money matters right now, but Never did have the money to build or, or uh, buy a Faraday cage. So what I did before this happened was I had an old microwave. Uh, we had our energy company out come out and do, us an, do an energy audit for us. And when they did, they gave us a brand new microwave. And this is the old one. It still worked fine. But uh, we went ahead and put in it batteries. And um, I've got a radio here. Yeah, it works. So I'm going to keep this on me. There is a plan that I have with my family, and that is if my brother, my brother lives uh, not too far away, but is for him to contact me. So I've been keeping the radio on me for the most part at all times. I've also got a flashlight in here at all times. And I'm also trying to get some communication going with some other groups to see uh, how things are doing on different parts of the country and and stuff like that. So we have been getting, luckily, still getting some eggs from our chickens. So we're really in luck with that. And um, I've also had a winter garden going, a winter garden going. So we'll go ahead and show you guys that just one second. Okay, so where was I? Anyway, um, the importance of gardening. So we've got some greens and onions, and we're adding them in with the chicken eggs and making some omelets. But to the west, which I'm guessing is right over the Bay Area of San Francisco, is this. Okay, so what was I saying? All right, so the importance of gardening. Uh, even before any sort of EMP or collapse happens. So we've got plenty of greens. We've got plenty, plenty of onions. The artichokes are starting to come in. Um, we don't have any berries or fruits or anything like that, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem isn't food right now because most everybody's bugged out and all the stores are empty. But we've got this. So I'm guessing that that is right over the San Francisco Bridge. That's what everybody's bugging out and worrying about. I am pretty psyched that we were able to contact Prepper Princess this afternoon. Uh, that was kind of unexpected. I, you know, I, I figured I needed to try, but that was awesome. And the fact that we were able to reach so far suggests to me that, you know, perhaps there's even repeaters, people setting up their ham repeaters across the country. People putting things back together. That's what human beings do. You know, there's a crash, there's a collapse, people rebuild. That's in, in as much as it's in our nature to destroy ourselves, it's also in our nature to, uh, to rebuild and try again. And that's, that's awesome. Hey, deer tracks. That's nice to see too. That means that there's still some 
things to hunt out here. It's always been my sense that, in a, at least in a short to midterm, in a collapse, that there would not be a lot of good hunting available because everyone's going to try to do that and they'll just, you know, destroy the animal populations. But at least at the moment, there's still some deer. Maybe it's because all the people have been killed. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, we, we know there's someone, Prepper Princess is still kicking. So, so that's good. Anyway, uh, Monica's uh, holding down the fort back at the house, literally. Anyhow, I, I figured I'd come out here up to the top of this hill and uh, see if I could throw a signal, maybe even a little farther, uh, being up here. Uh, I didn't come out as unprepared as I oftentimes do, though. I, I've got my uh, everyday carry bag with me in case something happens, and I have a Glock on me, and there's a round in the chamber. <laughs> so, uh, Praxis learns. Uh, so yeah, up here I figured we can get a, a signal maybe a little bit farther. It's nice that people are rebuilding. I wonder how the aliens feel about that, though. I presume that the point of the EMP was to knock us out. And here we are, crawling back like cockroaches. I wonder if I should lock the stuff up in the uh, Faraday cages whenever I'm not using it, probably, in case they try to do another EMP to knock us down again. Okay. This could take a while. You know what? Actually, I can... I wasn't really legally able to do this when the FCC was still in existence, but I could you know, turn up the power a little here and see, see what we got. All right. I know that sound. That's not a good sound. I'm just going to move at it. Okay, we'll do this later. Flipping that off. Holy shit. Jeez. sort of have the impression that was aimed at me. Or this, maybe. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, that's kind of exactly where I was standing. Right there. There used to be a house there. That's gonna make this a whole lot more difficult. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.